love, sex, desire, drama, lovers, and the others. <laughs> and we talk about it all here on Relationship. Greetings. This is Unapologetically Angela, the creator and the host of the upcoming talk show, Relationship Rhetoric. This is a show where I talk to singles and couples about what's working and what's not working in relationships. We talk about money, sex, drama, conflict, and so much more. I know a lot of you wondering, why should I talk to you or let you in my business? I am so glad you asked. The premise of this show is healing. I was in a forced relationship for almost 20 years. I say forced because neither one of us wanted to get married. But because of our family's beliefs, listening to their opinions, friends, family, church members, we thought because we were having a baby, getting married would be the best thing to do. So we thought. We got married. We raised our children. We created a few beautiful memories. But over time, we began to tear at the seams and resent each other. It became a very stressful situation for us as well as our children. After having a heart to heart with my children, I realized that I was creating patterns of stress and bad habits that I did not want them to have. Then is when I got the courage to step out of the relationship. Not only did I have the courage to step away from it, but I was able to let go of the guilt of letting go. I'm free, we're both free, and we're both happy. I believe that if I would have had couples to talk to, to confide in, to share information with me on a regular basis, the process would have been easier. We may have even still been together, but that's neither here nor there. Relationship rhetoric is here to provide healing, good practices, share great stories, and possibly lend a helping hand to a single or a couple who's just looking for longevity in relationships. At the end of each show, I will share with you a notion of love that I want you to take with you throughout the week. Your notion for this week. A woman should never invest in a relationship that she would be upset for her daughter participating in. And a woman should never allow a man to treat her in a way that she would scold her son for. This has been Unapologetically Angela. Stay tuned for Relationship Rhetoric. Peace, love, and enlightenment. Love. Sex, desire, drama, lovers, and the others. <laughs> and we talk about it all here on Relationship.